right, you ready to learn the real secret of how to get more views, more subscriptions, and yeah, more comments on YouTube? Well, it's not what people have been telling you. I've been around a long time. I've done a lot of promotion of people and of channels and of videos. I know what I'm talking about. In just a minute, I'm going to give you that secret. You've heard all along that it's the thumbnails and it's the title and it's the SEO and the description and what lighting you use and what camera you use and all these things are what's going to get you views. No. No, that's going to get you spending a lot of money and a lot of time and used to how to, how to do a good YouTube video. But the secret of YouTube is that YouTube is a business. Now their business is selling advertising. It's not providing a free host for your videos. It's not providing free creator classes for your videos. It's not providing a community. Though all of those things happen and I think YouTube does a wonderful job of it. Great training. But you've got to remember that the bottom line, the secret, the underlying foundation that your channel must be built on in order for YouTube to give you views and more views and more views and more views and you know what to do with so your purpose of those videos is carried out whether that's go to your website or just see your art or maybe buy something in a link down below they don't care about that and they shouldn't they're not taking a commission they're not taking an ad fee from you that is not what makes YouTube give you more views. And you can't just go get more views. You can buy views. They're worthless. You have to have YouTube suggesting the view. They can suggest it on the main page. When you press home, they can uh, do it on the side. Or they can actually suggest it. Which means when the video is ended, the next video that's going to start is the video they're suggesting. Now, why would they suggest your video over somebody else's? It's very simple. Because they feel that people will stay on your video and that they're in a niche category that they can sell advertising to. So here's the secret. You build your channel around a solid niche. Something that hasn't been done a hundred times. Now, to give you an example, on this channel, besides the advice that I try to give on entertainment marketing because there's not many people that have been in it for 45 years like I have. There's not many people that have marketed everybody from Yes to Debbie Gibson to Wham and NXS to the whole bass movement and all the DVDs I put out in the cartoon business. I have experience that others have flashy, flashy sites. Nothing flashy here. Nice little intro animation, but nothing flashy. I'm giving you some solid knowledge. And the channel that I'm trying to build, and that I've had some success with now, and it's growing, are cartoons. But here's the problem. You want to build a cartoon channel. Well, you don't build a cartoon channel by going out and finding 10 public domain cartoons and putting them on your channel and thinking people are going to come. It's not going to happen. If cartoons were what you were going to build, you should have access to four or five hundred cartoons that are better than other people's. Mine happen to be because I have all these masters from the DVDs that I did. And they're all upgraded and they're all restored and they have better sound and better color. But that alone doesn't work because there's a hundred channels out there with Popeye and a hundred channels out there with Max Fleischer and with Disney and a hundred just general cartoon channels. And there's channels that have cartoon shows that have some character that introduces the cartoons. But I found a niche where Dr. Reich tells you 
about the cartoons. Just like Robert Osborne on Turner Classic Movies. I come in and I give you little stories and backgrounds. Now, I learned these over 30 years in the animation business. For 30 years, I met with these old animators that were retired but just loved to talk about their careers. I was actual personal friends with Richard Fleischer, who was the, the uh, grandson of Max Fleischer. That's where I got my Superman masters from. Um, I have a story to tell, a unique story that nobody can copy. So if you want to do one on home remodeling, okay, there's a hundred thousand home remodeling channels. But maybe, just maybe, your home remodeling channel is about taking garbage, taking junk from flea markets and, and thrift stores, and turning that into a million dollar look in a house. I'm just using that as an example. If that's what you want to do, search first to make sure five or six other people haven't done it. But if you find one that you're pretty unique on, then start making videos on that. And make videos that actually tell people things. Don't try to sell them anything. Not until you're a big channel. You have to give value to have them come back. And you do another video and another and another and another and another. And pretty soon, for one thing, you become monetized because you have 4,000 watching hours and you have at least 1,000 subscribers. That just will happen or you need to find another niche. And then they start giving you ads. Now, these ads are from Home Depot or something like that. And they actually start seeing some business come in in the analytics. You get more ads. Well, more ads means they have to show your video more. They have to push it out to more people. And your views go up and up and up. So the secret, the thing that you need to learn on top of everything else that I've been telling you about lighting and cameras and, and thumbnails and titles and descriptions and SEO, the only thing that's important is that you find a niche, that you have something unique in that niche, that you are confident about and that you can make a hundred videos on over the next year and that you're willing to work and make them good. Whether or not you have any success the first six months, it doesn't matter. You don't want success until you have 30 or 40 videos up. But now, once it starts, you have to keep it going because it builds and builds and builds, but YouTube wants new videos so they can keep the advertising going. And I hope you've learned something today. I hope. I hope we've made you just a little bit smarter. Have a great day. See you next time.